In this video, we're going to be taking a look at creating intros using reverse effects. So what we're going to do is take a short section of a track, reverse it using the reverse audio function, high pass and low pass, apply some reverb, bounce it to audio, and then reverse it again. Okay, it's really not that confusing. Let's get started. First, let's hear the demo track we have for this example, a very simple four bar loop. The synth track is what we're going to process and mangle, so let's duplicate it and here it's soloed. Let's go ahead and rename this track Synth Rev, meaning Synth Reverse. Now we're going to right click on the waveform of the synth rev track and select reverse audio. Let's take a listen. So now I'm going to use the pro Q to high pass and low pass the copy of the synth. I'm going to high pass around say 500 Hertz and low pass around oh, 3K or so. So now our copy sounds like this. Now let's add a reverb to the track. I'm going to use Phoenix Verb and use a large hall preset. You normally want the reverb to be 100% wet for this type of effect. And you normally want to bounce the decay of the reverb at the end of the track. So let's move the right marker another two bars to the right. So now this is what we have. The next step is to bounce this track to audio with all of its effects. Under Song, Export Stems, I like to clear all the check channels to export first and then select what I want to export. So click None, then select Synth Rev. So now the only thing we're exporting and importing is the Synth Rev track. Let's delete the file name prefix. We don't need that. Make sure under Export Range, we have Between Loop selected, and under Options, we have Import to Track selected, and click OK. And after processing that, we can see the bounced audio that's now in the session. Next, just to keep organized, let's rename the original Synth Rev track with the plugins on it to Synth Intro and reverse its audio again so it no longer plays in reverse and bypass the reverb. We'll come back to this track. Now it can get really fun experimenting with how you edit the Synth Rev track. I'm going to lose the last bar and also lose the first bar. So now it's a four bar loop. I'm going to move it to bar one and then reverse the audio and move our loop marker back to bar nine. Now let's listen to the synth rev track, see what we have. Now let's take the synth intro track and move it to bar one so it plays with the synth rev track. Let's turn the volume down a bit on both of these intro tracks. So let's take a listen to this intro into the main loop section of the song. And another cool way to use this effect is to add it at the end of the loop. We can take the first bar swell of the reverse track and copy it to the last bar of the loop and create an interesting effect. 
You can have the swell effect to be loud and more in your face, or bury it where it can add some energy that you may not even notice unless you were to mute the track, or somewhere in between these two extremes. So I'm going to play back the track with the swell effect added to the last bar of the loop, and just play with the level just to kind of show you some examples of how it can add energy to the track, being more obvious, laid back, and also kind of tucked more into the loop. And maybe muting and unmuting the track just to demonstrate once it's buried, tucked under the track, how it kind of adds some energy and you might miss it once it's gone. And if we bring it up about 6 dB, bring it up another couple dB, you can really hear it now. And back down on the track, not really standing out too much. And here it is, really buried. but it does add some energy at the end of the loop. And if we mute it, that energy kind of goes away. So it's not really you hear it so much while it's on, but you miss it when it's muted. You could use this type of effect for a breakdown, an intro, get creative. You can use a delay instead of a reverb to create a different type of vibe. You can process drums, vocals, guitars, anything this way. You can really mangle your audio into something completely different. Hope you enjoyed watching this little tip on how to have fun using the reverse audio function with effects in Studio One. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.